we know our friends, we know the ones that are organized. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sophia, in case you're seeing my face for the very first time. Yeah, this channel I do all lifestyle, vlogs hair fashion family life and everything you can think of so <clears throat> thank you for joining us today today's topic is bridesmaids people to choose as your bridesmaids friends to choose as your bridesmaids sorry friends not to choose and all of that mm -hmm. so i have some things down on my tab i'll just be using it so i'm just be looking down sometimes and just to use this and that so guys yeah this is going to be interesting a hint video on people not to choose and people to choose as your bridesmaid so first of all who is even a bridesmaid miriam webster dictionary defined a bridesmaid as the bride's help someone that always comes true for the bride but i don't think it's like that these days these days our bridesmaids just want to sit down come to the event chill a, she's also a guest but she's a special guest a bridesmaid is supposed to be someone who looks forward to make sure that the event works because of it's your friend's wedding so first of all one we have different kind of friends we have number one the diva we have that one friend who is like, oh, like when picking your bridesmaid, you really need to be very careful and very intentional about it because one thing is instead of the bridesmaids these days to be very helpful, most of them are extra work for the bride. They just stress the bride out and stuff like that. So you need to be very, very intentional when choosing your bridesmaid. Don't say, oh, because this person is my friend for a long time. Because this person, oh, this person is my friend. This person is this. This person is my sister. She has to be here. If I, if she's not my bridesmaid, she's going to feel bad. Mm -mm, don't do that. If not, you end up being angry, sad, and it's your wedding for crying out loud. So you should own it. Don't allow other people own it for you. Mm-hmm. We have those friends, the diva kind of friends, the, mm, you know, it's either Louboutin or nothing. Only good thing about divas is they know how to pick things with good taste. Like when you take them shopping, they know how to pick top notch, but they don't necessarily need to be in the brightening. But if they are already in the brightening, then you should just tag them along but if you know you are on budget and you don't want to spend just leave them alone the stingy ones ah the ones that okay let's bring let's contribute money to buy ah it's too much why it's money they are very stingy like avoid them i'm sure we know we know our friends we know the stingy ones the ones that are even stingy to themselves talk more of you who are you because you are getting married <laughs> okay oh. hmm. most times you really don't know who these friends are because most times most of our friendship are oh what's up hello hi are you fine okay okay that's those friends that we've not really spent time and most of our lives with so you don't really know who they really are most times it's even those people you feel they are not fit or capable they'll be the ones that will even be the perfect bridesmaid trust me and of friend is the complainers hey there are people that in this world you can never please them who are you hey they'll complain why is this color like this why would you choose such a color i don't think it's befitting i think this style my boobs are too out i think um the, uh, know how to manage or handle them because that is just only what you can do at that point because they will definitely be the ones that always complain they are always complaining this particular one is friends that you don't need to add to your brighter foot that don't need to be your bridesmaid they are the heartbroken ones hey <laughs> if you know any of your friend that just broke out of an engagement just divorced 
the boyfriend just broke their heart anything that has to do with shy heartbreak just leave them jj if you know you don't want to cry on your wedding day because you are going to i don't think it's not wise enough it doesn't show that you are emotionally intelligent if you just want to flaunt your wedding dress your wedding shoe you're doing this you're telling them well, how do you want them to feel like for them to cry or, so you better just leave them jay, jay, they should just stay where they are and enjoy and cry as long as they want to cry and get healed whenever and another kind of friends we have is the turn up queen hey those ones it's also good to put them in your bridesmaids bridal train and it's also very bad because they are easily distracted any once they get to the reception hall they will they will just forget that they are even they will just forget that they are your um, bridal party or train they will them and dj and mc will just so i think those ones it's also good because they will also um, lift up your spirit ginger you and all of that but Another type is the control freak. We all have those friends that want to tell you, no, don't do it like this. No, it should be like this. No, it should. please avoid them because they will stress the, they'll stress the hell out of you on your wedding day. Like you would not even want to in any way be jiggered. Just leave them. They can come as a guest and have fun and just sit at the back and complain on their seat. And when they are done, they leave. Then poisoning other people's mind. Because one thing about this bridesmaid thing is once they now get together behind your back blah, 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 blah. so it's better to just let them be then the emotional friends hmm. the ones that any small thing they'll start crying any small thing they'll start crying on your wedding day you might just join them and ruin your whole makeup but as i said earlier you really don't know who is who so if you have those kind of people already as your bridal party you really know how to manage and handle them just they are big not to cry at big a big catchy go <laughs> so friends we also have is the cream dollar cream door these ones mm. when they are also like the perfect bridesmaids when you need them there they are there after your wedding you need space they are on their own anytime you need their help you can call them you know that they are your go-to they are always there for you all you need to do is just put a call across and boom they are there for you they are the cream de la cream bridesmaid so set of girls no stress they would not stress you the cream de la cream yeah they need to be on your train they're gonna hype you when you need them just put a call through and another kind of bridesmaids or friend is the organ we know our friends we know the ones that are organized the organized ones the ones that are very strategic punctual another kind of friends we have uh you have the self-appointed chief bridesmaid made of honor there are people that just even without you creating a group you know they are your friends already telling you okay i'm going to be a chief price middle i'm not going to drag that position with anybody those ones are the self-appointed chief price don't make that person your chief price mm -hmm. please in choosing your chief price maybe most especially you have to be you what the things you have to put into considerations are can i really work with this person is this person really does this person really genuinely like me because there are people that you will know we know those people that are just pretending oh i like you but inside they're dying of jealousy hate bitterness or whatever they are bitter leaf <laughs> for no good reason so you should ask yourself okay hope this person is not lazy because you um maid of honor that day you'll be sending her go and meet my mom go and meet my dad meet the quechua do this one do the other one so can is the person go to hope she's not lazy yeah? hope she's humble down to earth she won't see that oh okay because you're getting married you're sending me anyhow okay because you're getting married you're trying to use me no you have to use a like in choosing a cheap right man in fact you have to pray about it so you won't be in a situation where you're telling the person please help me pack my gun the person say ah calm down i'm packing it now why are you shouting at me are you black so you wouldn't want someone like that so you have to be very very careful when choosing your chief bridesmaid and they are also the friends that want to take everything up those ones are also good you'll be like i call them the sister like just like i said earlier they are like i want to do this for you okay is this the ones that are always calling you and you'll be like oh, okay 
those are kind of people you should that should be on your bridesmaid the ones that are always emotionally they'll call you they'll pray for you always okay have you called the vendor have you done in fact those ones are already planning the wedding in their own corner their own space they're always okay are you going to do this have you done this have you booked the hotel give me the hotel don't worry don't worry they'll tell you okay don't do anything give me everything i'll do it those people should definitely be your bridesmaid because those people now are not coming as guests but they are seeing themselves as this wedding has to work because they're not now seeing it as i'm just going for a wedding to take selfies keep pictures and all of that they just want to see that okay this wedding work their friend's wedding and another very important thing you need to know is when you have bridesmaids as should be or oh, generally as human beings we all like being involved we just even if it's last minute just tell them okay they should do help me fix this flower help me wear my ear they just want to know that yes you value them like you notice their presence so just like on my wedding day i could never i could ordinarily get people to i paid for all shares for organizers and all but i have friends that came earlier like when it was saturday and they come like fuzzy i just say okay you you move my cake to the hall because i need my cake and all that has always been my dream i was like okay you you move the cake you you help me be in charge of drinks you and I realized that they were all happy doing it like running around they were all feeling like, like yes 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 you get that would reduce complaints side talks and they were like yes i'm involved like when you have an issue you just call them oh i'm intense i'm they were like calm down because people like to be carried along but when you don't carry them along they just sit once and we could just go this wedding come back you get but when you carry them along they'll be gingered they'll take the wedding like their wedding they want everything to be perfect if dj is fucking up your friends are there trying to fix the head knots for him you get what i'm saying like nobody there fucks up if not they will receive slap and that's another kind of friend you know those kind of friend that used to ginger like Put them in your bridal train because all those vendors that want to be misbehaving, those friends will fix them properly. So everybody likes to be carried along. So when choosing a bridesmaid, you have to choose people that you know that genuinely like you. But I keep asking myself, how do you even know a person genuinely likes you in this generation and time that people are bitter leaf, are witches and all of that? It's very hard, so I think you should just pray about it and um, just, you know, people that don't have, you know, we have energies that if you know the energy about someone is not that, and you're feeling like, oh, I think this person is jealous too, but the person don't want to come direct, and all of you are doing hypocrisy. Hey, hello, hi, beautiful. <laughs> Please just avoid that person. All of you, the friendship can always be there, but they should just not get involved in your wedding or whatever you just need people that you know that have genuine interest over your life people that are trustworthy people that are kind people who understand people who have gone through a lot in life people who you tell that okay my wedding budget is for example my wedding budget is 200 naira, and they'll be like okay we can work with that we can get much of for 20 naira. we can i don't know if you get my plan my my um my point you need people who really understand you don't need the divas that oh why don't do that it is once in a lifetime you need to spend all the billions on earth you need to do this you need to, even if you have the money like you don't need those kind of friends that will put those kind of energies to you and lastly you don't need the bad bloods the always negative oh are you sure we can hey now what is it is it okay you don't need them and I think you should just pray about it because it's a bit difficult but most importantly carry every person along when you carry them along guys i'm just saying this because my wedding was a success and you needed to see the way my girls were running up and down i felt so somewhere in my mind i know a day to my wedding day i went to check the event and i called the event coordinator she was not even in the hall because i was like let's meet and all I was like, why did I even pay for coordinator? When see the way my friends were running up and down, calling DJ, calling MC, changing it for guys that wanted to see my drinks. And I was so impressed, trust me. So I think the basic key is after choosing your bridesmaid, carry just carry them along. Don't worry. The ones you know that are hard working, put them in strategic areas. Do this, do this. We humans generally, as I said earlier, we like being carried along. So they'll feel among and all of that. Okay, guys, I hope bride-to-be 
bright tomorrow planning a wedding planning whatever i hope this video is helpful i wish you a successful wedding planning marriage planning or whatever you're planning to do see you in my next video this is my wedding series video more videos coming your way watch out don't forget to subscribe and also click on this no post notification button just so you get notified whenever i post a new video Thank you, boo.